my pleasure today to be talking to MRS Vice President and incoming 2016 MRS President, Dr. Christy Anset. Thank you. Now we're closing in on the final days of your role as the MRS Vice President. What have been some of the highlights for MRS in 2015? I think it's an exciting time for the, the MRS. We've always been known for running top-notch meetings with technical content, but we're really growing and expanding and engaging our members. It's been wonderful to meet so many of the active volunteers that are part of our society. Yeah, that's one of the fun parts, isn't it? Meeting everyone and networking. Absolutely. Uh, and I'm always uh, amazed at the diversity in our membership. Uh, 17,000 members representing numerous countries around the world. Almost half of our members come outside of the United States. That's fantastic. Now you're stepping into the role of president at a crucial time for the organization with the ongoing efforts to engage industry. Also the first spring meeting in Phoenix, which we were just talking about, and important breakthroughs in materials research on the horizon. So what are some of the key things you hope to accomplish next year in 2016? Well, obviously we want to continue on our successes, but there are new opportunities with our new venue in, in Phoenix. The first time we'll be holding our meeting there. And that new venue brings opportunities with over 60 technical symposium, uh, continuation and growing of our IMAT Sci and Technical Innovation Forum, uh, and numerous ways to engage with the local community and I think that our meeting attendees will find this to be a vibrant exciting meeting. And I know the weather will be great nice and warm so that's a plus right there. Now you've spent a year as we mentioned as vice president working closely with President Oliver Kraft. Tell me what you took away from that year and what will you then pass along to the incoming vice president? So some of the big takeaway uh, messages of what like what we would like to do are we would like our society to truly represent our membership and, and our goal is to, to serve them. And how do we do this? Through different uh, services that we offer, through publications, mm -hmm. through awards, through our programming. And we really want to keep an, our, our ear and listen to those around us with our grassroots efforts. And we view ourselves as facilitators and, and how do we better serve the society from that perspective. Now, if someone out there is looking to get more engaged with MRS, either as an elected official or as a volunteer, what should they do? Where can you point them towards? So first and foremost, we have an uh, amazing website with a plethora of, of information. Uh, but we're working on ways to do a better job of, of asking you. And we have venues at this meeting uh, on membership, volunteerism, both international and engagement, uh, the, the stickers on uh, badges of those that are in charge of our different operating committees. Uh, but we want to hear from you. And one of our goals is to better match up new people bringing the diversity of our membership to service in those committees. Well said. Dr. Christy Ansett, thank you so much. And good luck on your oncoming uh, presidency. Thank you.